how to create a stretch effect using the Affinity Photos Equation Filter. You can use an image or use a gradient filled layer. Select the layer, go to the Filters menu, Distort and Equations. I've created a text document with all my equations. It is very easy to go to that document, copy the equation and then paste it into the X field and the Y field. Of course, you could just do it from memory and just type the entire equation. Also, fill the Y field. I'll add the equations to the description field below the video. Set the extend mode to wrap or mirror. Zoom into the design using the parameter A. Use parameters B and C for the stretch. So you can stretch the gradient in all kinds of ways. You can also shift the origin point of the effect. Once you're happy with the design, click OK. You can also repeat the equation without using the equations panel. Go to Filters menu and Repeat Equations and create all kinds of abstract designs. You can also fill the image with another gradient or perhaps another image and then use Repeat Equations. The only problem with the repeat, the origin point and the parameters are always identical and the effect is always the same. Only the source changes. If you want to change the parameters as well as the origin point, you have to run the equation again via the Filters menu, Distort and Equations. Sadly, the equations, as well as the parameter settings, are not remembered. There's no preset feature either. That's the reason I have that text document, so I can quickly copy and paste them in. One workaround is that you can use macros and libraries. The equations are remembered in the macro. You can edit the macro. You can also edit the settings of the parameter. You can use macros to quickly reapply effects. Only issue with macros, there's no preview. The equations are not cast in stone. You can always change the constants. You can always add additional functions, etc. You can change the 10 to 4.5 or 3, etc. You can also add additional Rx's. Once you're happy with the design, click Apply. Again, you can use the repeat equations. Add a new gradient via the gradient tool and swatches. Again, apply a quick repeat equations. This time, I'm going to fade the equation effect. So go to Layer menu and Fade Equations. Set the fade to zero to create the full effect. You can also use blending modes to blend the image and effect. Use Difference, Darken, Multiply, etc. Once you're happy with your design, click Apply. You can also go back to the filter menu and use the Repeat Equations. I'm going to remove the effect and layer now. And I'm going to go and create a new layer. This time it's going to be a shape layer. You can use any of the shapes that come with Affinity Photo, such as gears, circles, hearts, etc. Or your own. I'm going to use a heart shape layer. I'm going to fill it with a gradient. Go to the Filters menu, Distort and Equations. Go back to your text document, select the equation and then fill the X field and Y field. The text document makes it very, very easy, but of course it would be even easier if there was a preset feature. Go to the bottom of the panel and set the extend mode to mirror. Modify the parameter settings A, B and C, as well as change the origin point. All kinds of stretch designs can be generated. Once you're happy with the design, click apply. You can always create multiple shape layers and then apply the equation to those as well and fill the entire screen. I hope you have found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Affinity Photo all the time, as well as other applications. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Please add some comments, a dislike or like. Thank you much.